Okay then, just everybody's out for a little Sunday drive. Hey buddy guy there, buddy guy. Okay buddy guy. Oh freaking right buddy. Just pull up to the job site, couple coolers, couple 4x4 four four sugar and milks for the boys. It's Timmy Ho's where all the boys go to put coke in their nose and get their coffee fix and then they smoke D'Artagnan's. It's true. D'Artagnan's are cigarettes by the way. Okay, yo, what up? Hello. SLC punk man from the future. You, yeah, that's right. I have a different look today. We'll talk about it. We're switching it up. But until then, until I tell you about that about myself, then we are going, I, I put a poll on the YouTube machine and I asked, you know, Arby's, Little Caesars, Chinese food, Greek food, or local place I have not tried yet. That's where we're headed to. It's a place called Prospector Burger Barn. Now, last video I tried a, not last video, but the last video I tried like one of the best burger spots in the city. It didn't turn out, in my opinion, to be one of the best. I was talking with my step lad, my step brother, and he was saying that this place, he thinks, and he's a foodie, he works in the industry, that this is the best burger in the city. So I looked at the menu, it's mad affordable, and they actually had a few things that intrigued me. They have a falafel burger. So I'm gonna try the deluxe burger. They have a falafel sandwich, like a falafel burger. Sounded really cool. And they have a chicken Caesar sandwich or a spicy mother clucker. And I'm in debate of which one I wanna get. Part of me is pulling towards the, the chicken Caesar sandwich. But at the same time, I'm like, if I'm gonna get a fried chicken sandwich and it says spicy mother clucker, like, I ought to get the, the mother clucker, you know what I mean? So we're rolling up, we're pulling in, it has a drive-through, even though it's like a the independent location, but it's actually been, uh, it's a it's, its own thing, retrofitted from an old Burger King. This Burger King actually used to have the fucking play place back in the day, which uh, I have great memories here. It is busy as shit too, it looks like, in the drive-through. Anyhow, we're about to turn in, uh, if this boss would get out of the way, so maybe we're not about to turn in because this guy just fucked me in the anus. So I'm gonna have to whip around again somehow, and that's ridiculous. But okay, we'll make it work. This is life we're living. Yeah, so leave it to me to take you on another like burger handheld sandwich adventure. But you guys know that that's definitely my brand. I obviously love burgers, handheld sandwich adventures. The other thing is too, is in the vehicle, it's just the thing that works. It's like certain uh, food you can't really eat. Now, I was going to take us either for Thai food or Indian food. And just between the pricing of it, expensive as shit. And just the fact that I would have to like, just Indian food you don't eat in the car. You're dipping, you're ripping. You're sipping, it's, it's rice, it's gran granular, it's it's a lot of things. So it just wasn't the look. And then the Thai food was just very few items for many, many monies, which I'm a baller on a budget. Like I, I ain't out here with Quantran money trying to feed the local community with like spending a thousand dollars on a video. So, you know, I gotta make these work to my benefit. And this place is affordable and I can get a few items that I've been wanting to try. So we're rolling up to the drive through Let's see what we got here. Hey, uh, I'm gonna try the uh, spicy mother clucker, just the burger. Yeah, I'm gonna do the, uh, do you have the uh, falafel burger? Okay. Pardon me? Yeah, we have the falafel. Yeah, I'll do that as well. And I'm also gonna get a deluxe burger cheeseburger did you want a regular or a big the regular For sure. uh i'll just do a bottle of water bottle of water yeah that's everything yeah all right 22 30 drive through thanks yes i know we're gonna talk about it my glasses and my hat we're gonna we're gonna get to it <laughs> there's a little story behind it i was out doing errands and it all came to fruition okay just let me live man jeez it's nice out today though I'll tell you that Oh, speaking of the devil, if you go right across here, Timmy Hortons in the avenue. <laughs> there it is, the signature sign. 
all the boys up at 6 a.m. getting their fix. Just everybody. It's it's just the place where you get coffee and a little breakfast donut or bagel or something like that. But mainly coffee. Got a few a few peeps in front. Three in front. Uh, debit, please. Yeah. Did you want to leave a tip today? Sure. Uh, four bucks. Four bucks. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Sure. Wait. Sometimes uh, it doesn't work. I always do the wrong side. Try again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, this guy's really blocking my shine right now. Can't see past old big boy who pulled past the line. This is how you're gonna get me killed, sir. Don't do it, Captain. I said, don't do it. Cause I'm living my best life. Whoa, whoa. Living my only life. It's all in my best life. Whoa, whoa. It's uh, all in my life. I'm living my best one. Hey, hey. Oh, no. That didn't work out either. Fuck. Oh. Alert, alert. I'm gonna put my flipper down for that one. I say this, parking lots are danger bay. This is like where it's too much. Like too many people pulling too many things, not being able to see where they're going. Parking lots are legit terrifying to me. Like I just, they really get me riled up, fired up. The whiff coming off this bag is, it's different. I don't know how to feel about it. It's like, it's very mixed signals. It's like, I, I can kind of, I'm definitely smelling some falafel in there. I'm definitely, it's just, it's it's a little different whiff. I don't understand it. Like, you know, when you get the the Mick whiff or the, or like the Burger King whiff, like you just, you know that whiff, but this is a different whiff. I don't understand this whiff. We're finding our place. I promise you, we'll get where we're going. Gotta try a little reverse action, baby. All right, yo, we have procured the bag, the sack, burger barn, as you can see. Hope you can see the total there, 2231. Until next time, when they leave you hanging in suspense right there. Until next time, dun, 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 dun. But okay, three burgies. I didn't want to go for fries just because fries are negligible. And also, you guys know that I really don't mess with they do the hand cuts there. I don't really mess with those. So they got their own wrapping, pretty cool. I don't know, that one is kind of cold feeling, so that must be the falafel. I wouldn't expect any of them to be cold. Ah, uh, their buns are seemingly cold. At least the top one. That's a little strange. They must have the buns stashed out in an area like near a back door or something and people are coming and going coming and going coming and going all right the first unravel is whatever this is and it is the spicy mother clucker all right so we're gonna leave these wrapped for a second i'm just opening up each just to see i need to get a thumbnail next up we've got the regular Deluxe burger. I might as well go ahead and take my shades off for this actually because I really want to see what's going on. Okay. That's a dark charcoal patty. And this obviously by you know process of elimination is gonna be the falafel burger. So before we discuss my cool ass new beanie, my rainbow bread or my little pony beanie, uh, I was saying to you guys, I was the most intrigued by this falafel burger. So I do want to know. The bun looks great. On it, lettuce, the tzatziki, tomato, and underneath, we have these dope ass looking pickles. I will say that. And I guess the only thing left to do 
is to get a true legit bite. Okay, honestly, it's super sunny out right now. I need these. Fuck. Okay. Right off the top, that falafel is legit. It's crispy on the outside, but on the, on the inside. It is moist. It is flavorful. This pickle is out of this world. Hmm. As I suspected, this is a slapper. This burger is great. My only thing, and you guys know because it's me, just a little more sauce. But it's definitely like a a dill tzatziki. Mm -hmm. I mess with this heavy. Really good uh, vegetarian op option. Also well made falafel. I had lots of falafel. And the T-Dot, um, this is definitely on point with the ones I had there. Mm. It's this good that I'm just finishing it. Hope I don't spoil my appetite. Mmm. That's great. Okay, next up is just a regular charcoal burger. It's got special sauce, single tomato cheese, piece of lettuce. It's really, really no frills. Mustard, onion. I feel like they're missing pickle. I feel like there was supposed to be pickle on this and there's just not. So that's a bit disappointing because those pickles are stellar phenomenal this is very much looking like a it's going to taste like a charcoal backyard barbecue you know style burger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very home on the range. Super backyard cookout. That frame just flame broiled taste. I'm just bummed. I'm missing the pickles because those pickles were something to something to write home about. Oh, last burger! I know this is supposed to have them. That other burger video I was talking about. That burger had much better meat. Cooked way more my style. 
flat top. But if that burger with its toppings and everything, its meat had this bun, that would be a very clutch pairing. Hello. This resembles a lot of burgers my dad cooked for me. You know. For dinner on the weekend or whatever, right? Burger night. That's exactly what that was like. Very homey. The big mother clucker, the spicy mother clucker, the main event. Lettuce, tomato, a, the dill aioli, bacon cheese. And then down here we got some banana peppers. I guess that's what constitutes the spicy. Once again, I feel like they omitted the pickles. I feel like I read on the menu that this is supposed to have pickles. But the crisp on the chicken looks... Fantastic. I need to go further to find out. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The chicken itself, perfect. Cooked amazing. The crisp was amazing. The, the flavoring in the batter, the seasoning was amazing. It's tender. Flavorful. That dill sauce. Is coming through hard in the pocket right now. She's dripping. All right, excuse me, I had to take a time out. Uh, the mess was starting to stress me out. I had to pop out and like, just get rid of some mess here before I finish the rest of that. Gives a whole new definition to like a dirty work truck. <laughs> People are like, yo, it's a work truck, eh? It's like, what do you do to make it dirty? Just eat crumbly things for a living in it. I gotta bring the baby bonnet into the mix. It just has to happen in order to finish. Can you believe I'm about to smash all three of these? I was very hungry. Last time I ate was like, I think 24 hours ago, probably roughly. But okay, fine, if we must talk about my cool new hat. <laughs> do you guys think I pull off this color? <laughs> I do. Um, I was just bopping through Walmart. I actually went to go buy a new belt. I've had the same belt for like 10 years. And it's always been a piece of shit. I've just always been too lazy to source out a new belt. So I said, Today, I'm like, finally, I'm getting a new belt. I'm replacing this belt. Fuck this belt. I'm out. So I go on bopping through the clothing section. And to my surprise, on the girls, 
like the children girls winter section are these hats for three bucks now the thing is that's the best way to find a beanie is for kids because all the ones they make for adults are too they're too much there's too much top there's too much sag there's too much extra shit the ones for kids are the ones i like that fit perfect they're they're, they're little they're not it just they fit perfect I also like exotic colors, pastels. I think it goes with my eyes. Okay? I think it plays off the green really well. You know, I'm like a, a modern day hipster Donatello. Okay? Now these low key I've had for a while. I bought, ordered a bunch of pairs in the summertime. And these just haven't got much play. But when I put on this hat, I was like, those clear white frames on the Robotniks, they match up. I think they do. They look very, you know, he was a skater boy. Let's see you later, boy. We're going snowboarding tomorrow. Kind of thing. So, we're throwing it back. SLC Punk Styles. I can't finish these last few bites. That's a lot of burger. That's a lot of burgers, a lot of bread. Now, that thing was starting to light me up there at the end, too. It was getting really spicy in. You guys know I can't really act spicy. So, another note, just in this video, uh, I upgraded not up, well. I updated my like firmware on my phone yesterday, and it introduced me to this new shooting, like this 4K at 60 frames, and it looks like it's going to be crazier than what I was using before. So it looks like really clean and sharp and like really quite legit. So hopefully, uh, this comes out in a really dope fashion with that new uh, setting with the frame rate and everything. 4K. See how it translates to YouTube. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the falafel burger was a hitter. I would definitely get it again. The main regular burger, nothing right home about. It's exactly what it is. It's a home burger. Like it's just very. You don't need to go out to get that. You just make that at home and have it taste exactly the same by just barbecuing. Chicken sandwich is dope. As well, I just I'm fucking not happy. Like those pickles on the on the falafel burger, I'm I'm certain they were supposed to be on the other two burgers. And those pickles are banger. I if I could just pick up a jar of those, I would be a happy man because those pickles were out of control good. So I might even go see if they have those for sale, like just as is. Because I would love some of those at home for sandwiches, just snacking, whatever. Because those were bomb bomb. But yeah, I mean, good, not amazing, but good. Okay, <laughs> until probably tomorrow, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true, buy pink hats from children's, women, girls, sections, and Walmart. Okay, it's just, it's what you're supposed to do. Okay, bye. <laughs>